in Singapore, a lot of people are still closeted to some extent, whether it's with their friends, family, with their colleagues. So pride takes on a different meaning depending on the culture and the context. Hello, my name is Vishen. I'm a cis gay man and I run Hacking Unicorn. I design and sell pride products. What Hacking Unicorn is trying to do is to help people in different phases of being out and comfortable. All of them are able to express their identity using the pin. Hacking Unicorn also publishes comics and also has a blog. The name Hacking Unicorn is actually a mashup of two different ideas. One of them is good boy memes of dogs. Hacking good boy. I'm a dog lover, so that was one of the inspirations. The other one is a censored version of I'm a f unicorn. A unicorn kind of is a queer symbol and in the tech industry, a unicorn kind of represents someone who is talented in many different areas. So I think as a queer person, I want to be a hacking unicorn. I visited San Francisco a couple of years ago and I visited this place called the Castro which is the gay hub of SF which already is a gay hub in America. So I was very excited to find and buy Pride products um, but I was quite disappointed with what I found on all of the brick and mortar stores and I thought that we could probably do better because we are kind of, we're supposed to be creative. Hacking Unicorn has enamel pins, we have notebooks, and we have socks as well. And most of the designs kind of skew towards the subtle end. The designs themselves might not look like they are pride themed, because if you don't really know what it means, you don't really know that it's an LGBT merchandise. Most of them come out as like puns or inside jokes, things that if you're within a community, you would understand. But if you're outside, you might look at it and just think that it's a normal pin. There's a substantial amount of research that goes into understanding what people are saying about other communities that I'm not a part of. So for example, for the asexual community, there was a meme about how they would rather have cake than have sex, which is the opposite of what most people would want. That was the basis for one of the pin designs, which is the ace of cakes. So to them, they know the meme, they know the joke, so it makes sense. But for everyone else, it's just like, it doesn't make any sense. In terms of the comic, they tend to be more light-hearted. They are meant for queer people to read and then we just laugh at it because what else can we do but laugh at this situation? So the comics, they talk about illogical arguments against LGBT folks or double standards that these anti-LGBT people might have. bicycle pin. It looks just like a bicycle but it also has the bisexual flag colours and it's also a word play on bi. Hacking Unicorn also has a blog and the blog is a lot more in-depth, a lot more serious. We've written about censorship of uh, LGBT representation in Singapore. We've written about how schools in Singapore suppress LGBT identities. There are also some blog articles that are inspired by people who write into us to say that, hey, you all should write about that. And so one of the articles is about the coming out experiences that Singaporeans have. The pancake pin, it looks just like a pancake, but people who are within the community will tell that, oh, it also has the pansexual pride colours. For a lot of queer people in Singapore, we know that our lives are very different from a cisgender heterosexual person. But for many of us, it's often very difficult for us to explain what we mean when we say we are discriminated. So that's what the Hacking Unicorn blog aims to do, to raise awareness on these kind of issues so that more people read it, more people learn about it, and more people actually understand.
Pride to me means self-love. You should be able to feel like you can accept your entirety, the whole of your identity, whether your sexual orientation or gender identity. Hacking Unicorn is about allowing everyone to be able to express who they are, whether they are closeted or not.